Will the Deputy Prime Minister update the House on how the government is helping rebuild stronger communities and more jobs in regional Australia? Is the Deputy Prime Minister aware of any alternative approaches? The Deputy Prime Minister has the call. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I thank the honourable member for his question, and there can be no better example of what the coalition is doing for regional Australia than can be seen in Maranoa, matched by many, but no better than others. Uh, what we've seen, obviously, in Maranoa is the money that we've put on the table for Emu Swamp Dam. Emu Swamp Dam, part of our dams policy, a dams policy that is uh, supported on this side of the chamber but not supported in Queensland. Uh, we, they're too interested with Ms Trad and uh, Ms Anastasia Palso. Palaszczuk, the Premier getting stuck into one another, and not supported on the other side either, where we see they're going to take $235.2 million out of our water policy because they don't believe in building dams. And you can see that uh, the difference the coalition has made when you see the uh, work that's been put into place and the dog fences at Kanamala, bringing sheep back into those regional areas and making sure that employment is based once more in the western areas and making sure that we get the economies going in the western areas and dragging the wealth back into the western areas. And you can see our vision in the, the $100 million we put on the table for the Winton to Laverton Road because we believe in sealing the third road across our nation. Um, since close to settlement, since the first fleet, we've only sealed two roads across this nation, one through Camerwheel and one across the Nullarbor. But the vision to seal the third road across our nation resides on this side of the chamber. This side of the chamber is where it is. And it's the same side of the chamber that believes in building the inland rail. The inland rail, which we put money on the table so that we can have a corridor of commerce from Melbourne up to Brisbane through regional Victoria, regional New South Wales and regional, regional Queensland. And it comes on the back of record ag exports, record prices in cattle, record prices in meat sheep, record prices in pork, turnaround in the wool market, turnaround in the wine market, record, for getting back towards record prices in sugar, uh, turnaround in the price of oranges, potatoes, chickpeas. But you ask about what is the policies on the other side, and well might you ask that question because we would never know. It's been, it's been a year since I got a question on policy from the, from the member for Hunter. It's a year, about the 13th of October, since I got a question on policy issues. Uh, and, a que and a question of any sort, we have to go back to November. When it comes to water policy, I've never received the question. Never received the question from the member for Port Adelaide or the member for Watson. They just don't give us questions on those issues. So where would you go looking? You're supposed to go looking at their 100 positive policies. In the 100 positive policies, they do have a policy on the Commonwealth cleaning services, but not one on agriculture. Not one on agriculture. They've got nothing on agriculture. And the even right now, while we're trying to. Deputy Prime oh Minister will resume his seat. Deputy Prime Minister will resume his seat. Before I recognise the member for Hunter, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister will not interject when I'm, when I'm addressing the House. The Minister for Industry, Innovation and Science will cease interjecting as well. Before I call the member for Hunter, the Deputy Prime Minister is warned. <laughs> member for Hunter is uh, rising on a point of order. He will need to state the point of order. Member for Hunter. Mr. Speaker, I seek leave to table the Labor's 2016 the Hunter agriculture has no policy. Point of order. And why would I ask him a question the if he doctors the Hansard answers? <laughs> the member for Hunter, if the member for Hunter doesn't have anything with him, he can just keep walking out the door under 94A. Member for Hunter, member for Hunter can leave under 94A. There's a complete, complete abuse of points of order, and he well knows it. The Deputy Prime Minister for another 20 seconds. Much, Mr. Speaker, and right now the, the Labor Party, the Australian Labor Party, are fighting us on the backpacker tax, just like they fought us on the road safety remuneration tribunal, road safety remuneration tribunal, and just like they, just like they put at risk the firefighters. If you want to see what the Labor Party looks like, you can't go past the Deputy South Prime Australia. Minister. It's a blackout.